delayed reaction, yeah? That's what I'll show you these little acacia flowers. Yellow pom pom like flowers. It's like a occasional lotica, a scented thorn. Make these beautiful pods later in the year as well. We'll point them out a couple of months from now. Pods sort of up to about 10 centimeters, two and a half inches long or so. Tell you more about this pod just now. That beautiful whistle you can hear in the background. It's an orange breasted bush shrike. Really, really stunning bird. Difficult to see them, but it's just beautiful to hear it. As I said, the pods, they get to about two and a half inches long, 10 centimeters or so, and they look a bit like a. I don't know if you ever draw caterpillars when you were a kid. I guess some kids draw different things from others, but they sort of worm shape. Used to be in the older days, they use it sometimes to make ink from it. Does leave a sort of a purplish colored ink or dye. And also, it smells fantastic, it smells like Granny Smith apples. But that's still a few months away for the moment. You can just see that acacia thorn in the background and the beautiful detail of these flowers, full of pollen. Basically, it's the pollen that gives it that color. That looks getting in nice and close. They look at all that amazing detail. And the flowers itself, even the leaflets, twice compound leaves, so there's lots of little leaflets making up the larger part of the leaf all the way down to the stem. And then, of course, those nice hard white thorns, essentially also adapted leaves. Very healthy looking male, you can see the little horns. Also interesting detail around his feet, the grass, and those little white tufts you see, that's actually a kind of sedge. It shows that there's lots of moisture in that patch of ground that he's feeding in. That's maybe what he's got after, maybe there's just something nice and juicy to eat. Very quick and nimble when they do decide to run. just be able to sort of move through the bush like this if you think of how many other I was going to say things if you want but animals some other game drives obviously as well but right at this moment there's lots of different animals using roads there's maybe a leopard walking down another road somewhere that we just haven't been on yet or all the different roads in Kruger you've got all these things just moving along and sometimes it's almost amazing just be able to do it way and not bump into things all the time other animals even so in a bizarre way I guess I'm saying sometimes when the game drive is quiet you do get the sense of this being alone out in your surroundings which is quite cool I'm gonna have to try and see I'm gonna have to chop this branch down elephants have pulled it down and also for the game drives will be a bit difficult to get past here just have to remove this branch Once it will die anyway, it's been snapped already. So we just have to chop it down and clear the road.
elephant can take that branch and literally just snap it like a matchstick. Road's clear again. have made a whole little obstacle course for us today. And this might actually have been wind as well. It's old rotten branch or log. Next. It's difficult to see, you won't be able to see it, but there's quite a big snake track there. running around and they sort of ran down to the edge down towards that riverbed area. Honestly, the other one's very difficult to see. It's in the brush further down, but oh, difficult to see on this little monitor. But uh, they were running around all over the open area. Obviously, just decided to move on. At the same time, a bit of sunlight coming out, but at this, <laughs> with the sunlight, there's some more clouds coming as well. So it'll be an interesting day to see what happens. And uh, I'm going to have to say goodbye a little bit earlier this morning. I need to get back to camp for something. And uh, we'll see you this afternoon. You'll be out with Rex in this afternoon and uh, see some more of Alexa's camera work as well. So thank you very much for joining us this morning. Haley's in the Life Control Center and uh, the game drive this afternoon, something that uh, you can look forward to as well as the war toll. You never know what comes and goes in the course of the day. Thank you for joining us in Wild Earth. Thank you for being live with us in the bush here at Juma. And uh, we'll see you later. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.